What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. And this time, we're taking a look at the people under the stairs, direct, written and directed by Wes Craven. Okay. Overall, I act, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Uh, I think the people under the stairs is a really good Wes Craven movie. This movie is fun. It's got some creep value. I don't particularly find it to be a scary movie per se, but it's a very enjoyable movie. But since it's Wes Craven. He does manage to pull out a, a very good atmosphere, a very good suspense, tension-ridden atmosphere. But at the same time, he also generates a lot of comedy into this movie as well. Now, a movie like The People Under the Stairs, you would figure that this movie would not work since the lead is a child. This movie, this, this movie stars Brendan, uh, I can't remember his name for a second, Brandon Adams, who at the time was a kid. And you would figure that if you put a kid at the focal point of a movie, that movie is going to fall apart because not a majority of the time kid actors are not that great. But Brendan Adams is one of the exceptions. He's really, really good in this movie. He plays a character called Fool. And he's good. He's got a good on-screen presence. He's got good charisma. He's instantly likable as a character. Um, I like the budding friendship. He starts with a girl named Alice, played by A.G. Lager, who is another child actor. And I really buy them, and I really buy the budding friendship between the two. It really, really works for me. They have a lot of cute moments together, very cute moments together. Which, for a horror movie, for a movie that's pretty much a horror movie, cute moments in horror movies, they don't really go. But Wes Craven managed to make this make it work, and he made these two really, really likable. And I really appreciate that because, pretty much for a good portion of the movie, these two are running away from. Uh, from uh, the two villains of the piece, played by Wendy Robbie and uh, Everett McGill. Known of the mo movie as Man and Woman, or Daddy and Mommy. And <laughs> those th those two are hamming the it, all right, their performances are so hammy and over the top, they are a joy to watch, particularly Everett McGill. That man in this movie is hilarious. He is hilarious, you know? He's got a good menace to him, but he's got a lot of hammy campiness to him, and he's a joy to watch. Uh, Wendy Robbie, I think she's more, she comes across more uh, crazier and a little more intimidating as a villain, but she too is hamming it up. But you can tell these two actors are having a ball playing the villains of this movie, and it really, really works. What also works is the house. The house in this movie is a character all unto itself. This is pretty much... Home Alone with more violent death traps, and it works. It's, you got a good. It's a, it has a great cat and mouse feel to it, which makes this movie really, really enjoyable, and makes this movie really go at a quick pace. So, I like all that stuff a lot. Um, now, I already mentioned that the four actors that I enjoyed in this movie, but I also like other actors in this movie as well. Uh, Ving Rhames makes an appearance in this movie as a character called Leroy. Uh, the beginning of this movie sees Leroy Fool and another guy called Spencer break into this house because they want to steal some gold coins because the family that runs this house of horrors, they're also the landlords and they evict people out of their homes and they knock those homes down and they build office buildings on top of that but they, but they charge rent that's through the roof that people are forced to move away because they can't afford to pay the rent. So they decide to break into the house and steal the gold coins. Unfortunately, Leroy is, Leroy is shot dead by man in cold blood, pretty much. And that's what, and pretty much the, the ball gets rolling because pretty much Fool is in a fight for survival. He has to escape this house. And at the same time, he also wants to save uh, Alice from this house of horrors, too, because the people she thinks are her parents are not really her parents. Now, man and woman are actually brother and sister from an inbred family, and what they do is that they kidnap children. Now, they kidnapped Alice when she was a child. They kidnapped another character called Roach, played by Sean Whalen, who is another cool character that I like in this movie. He's one of the... He's, he hides within the walls of said house. But he lost his tongue because he talked back. And now we're getting to the big part. The children who broke rules, the, no see no evil, hear no evil type rules, they are sent into the cellar, uh, into the cellar, and, where, and now, and then, of course, and there are the people under the stairs, these, these uh, children who are pretty much kept in captivity in a way, and they're given nothing but flashlights, and they're fed food, <clears throat> they're fed food, but they're fed human remains. So they're pretty much, indirectly, they're a 
cannibals, pretty much. But they're not cannibals for the sake of being cannibals. They're cannibals in the terms of that's what that's what man does. He kills somebody, then feeds the remains to the people under the stairs. And overall, I like the look of the people under the stairs themselves. They got creepy look to them. At first, they come across as you think they're going to come across as like these vicious people, but they're not. They're really, really not. They're actually the heroes of the piece when you look at it because they're doing nothing wrong. And they actually befriend the character of Fool, which I think is pretty cool. And Fool helps them escape the house into the real world at the end of the movie. So I like it a lot. Now, the big problem with this movie for me is that the people under the stairs are barely featured in this movie. They're peppered in all throughout, but the general but the general focus on this movie is, is more on man and woman chasing Fool and Alice all around the house, along with the dog called Prince. And the people under the stairs are kept largely in the background in their own movie. So, you know, give that for what it is. I would have liked to see more of the people under the stairs. I would have liked to skip, have more of a history of the, the de facto leader of the people upstairs, the stairs, who was pretty much the one with, like, red, long hair. <clears throat> he, he's the one that's probably more featured. I would like to know a little bit more about the people under the stairs themselves. If not, I'd like to get see, at least see them featured more. I mean, they, you see them at the climax where they help... Uh, where they help Fool and Alice fight off men and women and eventually beat them. But other than that, they're not heavily featured throughout the films. And I think that's a big drawback for me personally. <clears throat> but uh, from, a, but, but from an overall writing standpoint, I think Wes Craven did a good job with the writing. This movie has a lot of good humor in it. It's got very likable characters in it. Um, it's got some good, you know, it's got some good social commentary on it too. You know, it touches on things like capitalism, class warfare, and gentrification. In a, in a satirical way and I think Wes Craven really had his finger at the pulse at that time with the 90s by talking about certain things like talk about these things and placing them in this movie kind of makes this movie socially relevant in a way when you break down those themes but I like how they don't overshadow the overall the overall plot of this movie which is this is just a fun cat and mouse horror flick with good cast and good characters outstanding direction as always by Wes Craven with beautiful cinematography to boot so yeah overall I thoroughly enjoyed the people under the stairs I don't consider this to be one of the greatest Wes Craven movie ever made but it's a damn enjoyable Wes Craven movie which is why I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10 I enjoy this movie I like it a lot <clears throat> anyway those are my thoughts on the people under the stairs let me know yours in the comment section down below do you like it do you hate it I would like to know like the video and subscribe and I'll check you back next time for more.